guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new welcome my name is Dina thank you so much for clicking on this video so today we're gonna to be talking about stress and it's actually been a little while since I've done one of these types of videos kind of like a self-help psychology type video I just felt like I really needed to make this just because I feel like a lot of us have been dealing with a lot of stress recently with you know 2020 but now going into 2021 like things aren't quite over yet there's a lot of stress and you know regardless of the whole world situation right now all all of us have stressors in our life whether it is job related whether it is related to our relationships so I thought it was very important for me to make this video talking about how to really deal with stress so I have a whole bunch of tips that I've collected that I've written down that have helped me personally and also kind of have a little bit of like science backed up to it just based on things that I have read in the past can't say for sure exactly where I got everything because it's honestly like I didn't actually like look this up or anything for this video this is kind of just knowledge that I've accumulated over the years per se. The first type of stress I want to talk about first is overwhelm. Often a lot of us get stressed out because we're so overwhelmed by the number of tasks, by the amount of work that we have to do. The best thing to do for this is to write it down. Now the reason I say this is oftentimes a lot of people deal with this type of stress by just not doing anything at all. They tend to procrastinate. Procrastination is actually one of the worst things you could do because it just makes you more stressed out because you haven't done anything. You haven't gotten any of it done. So the more you put off a task, the more that stress is going to build up. Every single random thing that you can think of, write it down. When it comes to you, write it down. Because if you write it down, you take off that stress off your mind to remember it, to remember to do it. Start to rank them by importance. Once you start to group things by importance, you realize what activities, what tasks have a higher priority. And those are the things that you can really like focus on first. Also, when you start to like write down your tasks, sometimes you realize that certain tasks take longer than other tasks. Oftentimes, I like to knock off the ones that are really quick first. So it's one less thing I have to worry about before before I move on to the other one that's maybe a little bit more time consuming. Also, you can start to manage your time better by, you know, like you're like, oh, this task is probably gonna take me so much time. I'm gonna work on it a little bit now, do something else and then come back to it. So there's different ways that you can kind of navigate and figure out what works for you. But the first step is writing it down. So the next thing that you can do when you're feeling extremely overwhelmed and stressed is to step away from the task for five to 10 minutes. Oftentimes when we're very stressed, sometimes that intense emotion can just build up to the point that we're useless. <laughs> Like we're trying to get something done, but we're so frustrated and we're so stressed out that we're not actually doing a good job. It's not really getting done in the way that we want it to get done. So oftentimes it's good to step away. Now try to step away for five to 10 minutes. Try not to step away for too long because that's when we run into issues. That's when we run into procrastination. So that's why I say five to 10 minutes. Do a five to 10 minute breath work, meditation, get yourself a cup of tea, just drink that tea in front of a window and breathe. These kind of things can just kind of like calm you down a little bit. So you are ready to go back to your task and tackle it with a new fresh mind. I find another thing that's just really good for stress is like a hot bath or hot shower. I don't know about you guys, but like whenever I'm feeling like bleh, I love a hot shower. I love feeling the water on my face, on my head. I just love the like massage that I get from like, Oh my god, I'm like just starting massaging my own head. I love the massage sensation that I get from the shower head. Like it's just so nice. I feel like this is a really good way to like de-stress and especially for before bed. So if you're having a hard time sleeping, studies actually show that like having a hot shower before bed is actually really, really good for helping you fall asleep. Our body has to be lower temperature than it normally is for us to fall asleep. That's why we sleep really well in cool temperatures. But basically what happens is if you take a bath or a shower before bed, that like difference between like so you take a hot shower and then you get out of the shower and that like really rapid process of your body just like cooling down after your shower is actually what makes you more relaxed and sleepy so just a random fact for you guys that I've learned in like some of the sleep books that I've read probably don't do this like right before you're about to try and get something done because you might be like too relaxed or too sleepy but if it's a type of stress that you're experiencing before bed this could be very helpful for you and also like when you're taking your bath or your shower there's also essential oils that you can incorporate into that that can also relax you like try adding some lavender lavender is really good for relaxation so trying to like spruce things up my next one is music honestly music is such an important part of my life and I feel like it's such an important part of so many people's lives and it's such a big like stress reliever I don't think I'm ever in a bad mood when I'm actually like making like playing music or if I'm like listening to music it's just it has such a big effect on you if I'm feeling unconfident self-conscious like I feel like I just can't do something I listen to some badass really motivated 
motivational music whether it is something like motivational or something more relaxing like I love to listen to like meditation type music too and also like lo-fi music I find it's just really relaxing and it puts me in a really good mood my next tip for you is to create a self-care game plan oftentimes we plan out other things in our life whether it is like work or other projects that we have but we often don't make a game plan for taking care of ourselves so this could be something that's very important for you to do because maybe you're a busy person and you won't actually get something done unless you plan it into your schedule so maybe you need to schedule some time to actually just you know relax but like yeah making a really good routine for that make a routine for some other way to pamper yourself so like try to figure out what you enjoy the most and what relaxes you the most because this is going to be very personal and try to schedule time in your schedule to do that for you another thing that I feel like just makes all the difference with my mood and I've been really making a habit of doing it every single day lately is to listen to a podcast like a motivational podcast something that's going to really change your perspective and just like give you motivation and feel good about yourself listen to a really good podcast and drink a cup of tea I like to just sit down or like have breakfast or whatever you're doing I mean podcasts are really good for like when you're doing other things like whether it's cleaning or something you need to get something done I like to do that too I feel like cleaning just puts me in a good mood because it's kind of like I don't know I feel like I'm being productive but then I can also have my headphones on and listen to a podcast really being present in what you're doing and like really listen to that podcast I feel like is very helpful for stress another thing you can do is use some sort of like crystal therapy I feel like holding like certain stones can sometimes just bring like a, a sense of calm to me and even if it's just like the whole psychological thing of just plain something with something in your hand I don't know if you've ever heard of the worry stones they're just like they're just so smooth and there's something really relaxing about just like rubbing the stone in your hand but like any crystal can be like that I have some palm stones I find they're really relaxing during meditations but sometimes I'll just hold them because they just kind of bring a sense of calm to me so it can be anything I feel like any sort of like tactile thing that you can kind of fill with with your hand there's definitely some sort of psychological reason behind that I haven't really done a lot of research about that but I feel like that's the same reason why they have like fidget spinners and things like that I feel like it lowers people's stress so maybe try doing something like that if you're not necessarily someone who believes in crystals and crystal therapy and vibrations and stuff like you don't necessarily have to believe in that just like have something just to kind of hold like that worry stone effect kind of thing that will really help just to bring a sense of calm to you so my next tip for handling stress is if you like really dealing with something and it's something that's really like you're really ruminating over it it's really bothering you talk it out or write it out keeping it inside to just go over and over again in your mind is like one of the unhealthiest things that you can do so really like talking about it with somebody that you're close to is like really helpful or you can talk to a therapist or they have like helplines if you really need to talk to someone but you don't really want to talk to someone that you know like sometimes it's just easier to talk to someone more nominous yeah sometimes that's easier or just like writing it out if you don't want to talk to other people just writing it out makes such a difference like have a journal to just really reflect on these types of things it is just very important to have that resource also want to mention that a burning ritual is amazing for that if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it for you somewhere on the screen and also in the description box below burning rituals are very powerful for letting go of things that you don't want to stress about and you don't want to take control of your life anymore and I made a video all about how to do that so make sure you guys watch that after this video another thing I want to recommend for you guys is to avoid spending your free time doing toxic habits sometimes there's habits that just like bring us down that we but we do any Anyways, because we're because they're a habit right when things are a habit we do things very often this could be scrolling through social media this could be you know sitting on the couch eating like a ton of snacks while watching a movie or something it's okay to do those things in moderation but sometimes when we fill our time with these toxic habits they actually cause more issues I find a big one with this is that it distracts us sometimes we're always looking for distractions that we're not actually fully addressing the issues that we're having because we're always staying busy and there's a, kind of like an issue with always staying busy sometimes it's not good to always be busy because then we don't actually have time to just sit with ourselves and just think and like be comfortable with just being by ourselves I think it's so important to be comfortable by yourself in silence like it's so important because that's when all this stuff comes out like that's when all the good stuff comes out that's when you really learn about yourself that's when you really reflect that's when you really make the change and the difference that you need to to change your life for the better reflection doesn't happen while you're watching a horror movie reflection doesn't happen while you're like scrolling and watching like TikToks and stuff like that stuff like that deep stuff that you need to really 
make a change in your life and a change in the world. That stuff doesn't come from that. That stuff comes from reflection and silence. Another thing that you can do is document your mood. I think having like some sort of like mood tracker, um, whether it is like a journal spread. I don't know if you've seen that before, but so many bullet journal pages on YouTube or channels on YouTube, they often have like mood tracker type things. I think those are really, really, really helpful. Honestly, you can just get your journal or your, um, sorry, what am I gonna talk about? Your agenda. You can get your planner and just track your mood in there. Like just write down how you're feeling every single day and like write down other key things that happened that day. And then you can really start to realize what your patterns are and kind of like connect the dots and see, I don't know, like what did I eat that day? Like what was I consuming that day? Like media wise or whatever, like there's just different things that affect us. So I feel like really documenting that is a really good thing. And just to kind of see how, like how often are you depressed? How often are you anxious? How often are you happy? Like maybe if you're spending a majority of time depressed and anxious but you didn't realize how much time you actually are feeling that maybe that's time to actually seek help or seek something to really work on that right so I think that's very important anyways guys thank you so much for watching I hope this helped you in some way I feel like you can at least take one or two points from this video because we all deal with stress these are things that definitely have helped me and sometimes I forget to do them <laughs> like we're all guilty of that sometimes but I just think this is a very important topic to talk about so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel I put up new videos every single week I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye